Hello Kellys, it's Mary and welcome back to The Curly Closet. So today's video is going to be on a slightly unusual topic for my channel but something that I wanted to cover. The topic is related to feet. So I'm warning you from now that there's going to be some images of feet coming up. I mean clearly if you clicked on this video you knew there was going to be something foot related in the video but you know some people hate feet so I'm just warning you you're gonna see feet okay so in the past couple of months I've been thinking about just the way that I treat myself my self-care practices and as a part of that I have been thinking about how I have been treating my feet now I don't think that I have the worst feet in the world at all but I do feel like I could have been taking better care of them over time but I haven't been for a number of reasons I guess one part of it is when your life gets really busy and you're just basically trying to get from A to B you're not necessarily thinking that much about yourself you're just thinking about how to get to your destination you want to appear to be presentable but you're not necessarily thinking about the long-term impact on your body so in some cases I was wearing shoes that they fit me but they didn't fit me very well and some of the shoes that I was wearing just simply didn't have as much support as they really could and just thinking about it over time I I've known for a long time for example that I have flat feet because my feet are flat then I need shoes that really do give decent support so I noticed over a period of time that actually my right foot was developing a bunion so usually you have five toes and you have your big toe and then you have toes two three four and five i'm going to use my fingers as an example so ignore the thumb <laughs> so this will be let's say for example this is your big toe and these represent the rest of your toes i know there's only four but you get what i'm trying to say so what happens with a bunion is that basically because of the shape of your shoes and the way that you walk and there can be multiple factors or reasons for it but what tends to happen is um your big toe is leaning towards the rest of your toes it's, it's basically leaning outwards in a way that causes a deformity of this joint here as you continue to walk the more pressure that begins to get put on your feet going this way the more pressure that gets put on this joint like this um, this becomes bigger sometimes it becomes painful sometimes it becomes very like just becomes a very big lump and becomes very swollen so I thought I'd insert a clip of my feet here so that you can see what I'm talking about so um, if you notice on my left foot there is a gap between my big toe and my second toe but if you look on my right foot you can see that there there is a little space but it's not as large as the space between my big toe and second toe on my left foot um, so it's slightly closed up and then as I'm moving my feet around and flexing them you'll be able to see there is a lump that's forming on my right foot um, I'm just turning it slightly so it's a bit easier for you to see. It's forming just on my joint at the base of my big toe and that's what I'm talking about. And basically yeah that sort of bunion beginning to form was a sign for me and I don't like bunions. I don't think anybody does. Mine is a mild case, it's not a bad case whatsoever but I've noticed a change in my foot and that's the reason why I thought it would be better to basically prevent it going further at this point than to neglect it and let it continue. Part of the reason for my weight loss um, journey was because I wanted to improve my health and to look better to be honest but also because I realised it was affecting my feet a lot. And I was also told by a personal trainer a couple of years ago, um, he actually did say to me that my body is slightly out of alignment and he said that one of my feet was like pointing a little bit more outward than the other one and I, I kind of noticed that on my right side you know, for example when you get hard skin on the bottom of your feet it always tends to be thicker I know that sounds horrible <laughs> that sounds a bit gross but yeah um, it's always 
a bit thicker on my right side than on my left and I feel like yeah I somehow lean a bit more on my right side than my left side so over the past couple of months I've been trying my best to buy some shoes for myself to just replace those shoes that I decided to throw out um, and they need just to be good everyday shoes now I'm not gonna lie and say oh I'm gonna be you know be wearing the most foot friendly shoes orthopedically sound shoes in the world I no I'm not gonna do that however I do know that I can be making better choices for my feet um, and but still wear shoes that I really enjoy wearing so as an example um, here are some vans that I bought recently they're not just plain vans they have a really nice pattern to them which I really love I bought them from TK Maxx I think for about was it 20 pounds something like that um, now these shoes are essentially flat but they have a really really good sole which is really thick yes I did wear them <laughs> they can wear flat shoes and be okay but they do need to be shoes that have a decent sole to them um, if I wear shoes that are flat and have a really thin sole they can tend to hurt my feet after a couple of hours so yes these have a nice thick sole which I like and also they have more of a rounded shape to the sole I was trying to avoid having shoes which were really pointy toes basically when you have a point at the front it kind of squashes your toes together and can create more problems with your feet instead of allowing your feet to kind of spread out and have one <laughs> so yes I've been really enjoying these really loving these I think I actually have about three different pairs of vans right now and they all have different patterns on um, and they're all pretty comfy and easy to wear on a daily basis now on top of that I also bought some um, tools can I call them that from Amazon um, and they're not recommended by podiatrists anybody like that but I just thought that they would help me out so basically I bought a kit of toe spacers it actually comes with five different shapes of toe spacers in now these are made from a basically a silicone type material you can see very wobbly right now <laughs> so I've actually put it on my hand so you can see so if you can imagine so this is your big toe and these are the rest of your toes so this is supposed to go um, basically your joint is here so this covers it nicely and then this is supposed to create a space again between your big t between your big toe and your the rest of your toes and help your big toe to go back into realignment so basically help helping to straighten your toe my first impression of these on my feet were that they were generally comfy but they made the balls on my feet feel a bit strange and the way that the silicone was they tended to squeak a little <laughs> while i was walking around they feel a bit unusual but i will try them out for a bit longer and see how i like them pair look like this so the idea is that this is supposed to go like around your second toe and then again create a wedge between your second toe and your first toe and therefore give your toes the normal spacing that they're supposed to have I like the general idea of these toe spacers but I was a bit unsure about them um, there was a lot of space around my second toe and they just felt a bit big and a bit clunky around my feet I'm not sure how I'd walk around with them without them sort of moving around too much but again I will try them out for a bit longer and see next are these ones so basically the idea is that your big toe goes in this space your second toe goes in this space and then again there's a wedge in the middle so i think i actually like these ones the best the reason being is that it creates a space between my big toe and my second toe on my right foot but it doesn't push the rest of my toes on the right hand side out of place now these two are very very simple not complicated at all I put that in front of my hand you can see this is what it looks like 
um, it just basically is a toe spacer that goes like so <laughs> between your first and second toe and because of these flaps um, basically it stays in place so if I squish it down you can see more easily what happens you can see that I can still move my fingers but this does not slip out of place because it comes right through to the other side I like these ones very much they were very comfortable to wear the only thing I wasn't completely happy about was that I felt like it really squished my second and third toe together on the right fit um, so it didn't really bring my big toe back into place now, the other four toe spaces that I showed you um, they can be worn with or without shoes but this next pair which is the last pair are actually meant to be worn with shoes I can't see them being of any benefit without shoes so they look like this the idea is that if you have a bunion here that when you're wearing shoes this actually protects your bunion from getting rubbed on because of course the more it gets rubbed on the bigger it becomes um, but also it has this wedge bit again which creates space between your first and second toe so yes these were very comfortable but they were a bit strange to wear around the side pieces flapped around quite a lot yes they're definitely meant to be worn in shoes and not outside of them essentially the idea of why i bought these is because um i do spend a lot of time at home and when i'm at home i don't wear shoes i usually walk around barefoot or with socks on so what i want to do is just use them that when i'm at home when i'm walking around the house that i can just have them in and over time they're supposed to help my my feet and the way that I walk to realign themselves. Now these ones, the mini ones, <laughs> these ones right here, um, I did actually wear these for a couple of hours this evening. They were a little bit weird to get used to in the beginning, like I felt like I had to pay more attention to how I was walking, a slightly different way of stepping because of how they were positioned between my toes. In order for balance sake i did actually wear them on both feet not just on one foot um something very interesting happened though after um wearing them for a few minutes i'd say maybe 15 20 minutes i noticed that i kind of started to feel a bit of a pain in my foot not extreme pain but very very mild pain on top of my foot so sort of above where my instep would be i also noticed that over time I got a bit of a weird pain in my hip and I could feel a bit of tension running up my right leg from my foot basically through my knee and up to my right hip so and the interesting thing was I did not feel that pressure on my left side at all I only felt it on my right side which kind of tells me that possibly yes that is the side that needs a bit of realigning and the way that I was walking um, was somehow affecting something on the right hand side of me so I'll see what happens with that over time so I am actually going to come back to you guys soon um, and I'm going to give you an update as to how well these have worked for me which ones I prefer and in which situations this has been a very unusual video but it's kind of been fun to film um, if you did enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up below and yeah let me know if this is something <laughs> you'd like to find out more about on my channel i'm not planning on doing a whole load of videos on feet um but i feel like it's something that affects all of us after all if you think about it think about the amount of hours that you spend on your feet per day um and they are a very essential part of your body if you think about the fact that they have to actually carry the weight of your whole body um, so if something is out of alignment with your feet, it can literally affect your whole body. So yes, it's important. If you have anybody that's got foot problems and they might be interested in this video, then you can share it with them. I appreciate that a lot. And you can also hit the red subscribe button below um, and you can tap the bell for notifications. That means that you won't miss any videos from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.